Hi there, my name is Karen from Christ Memorial Lutheran Church in East Brunswick, New Jersey. In last week's lesson, we learned how the risen Jesus went up to heaven in a cloud, but not before he promised to send the Holy Spirit to give his followers the gift of faith. Have you ever traveled to a special vacation spot? Perhaps you've gone to Disney World, the Statue of Liberty, or one of our country's beautiful national parks. People from all over our country and even people from other countries visit these places. Many of these travelers speak different languages. That's the way it was in Jerusalem during the Jewish festival known as Pentecost. Pentecost was a festival of the Jewish people. During this time, all the Jewish farmers had to travel to the city of Jerusalem with the first fruits from their harvest. These farmers spoke many different languages. As you listen to today's story, see if you can identify a miracle of God. Remember that before Jesus went back up into heaven, he gave final directions to his followers. They were to go and make disciples of all nations. He had promised to send the gift of the Holy Spirit to give his followers the faith they needed to follow his directions. Jesus chose to send the Holy Spirit during the festival of Pentecost, when many people from all over the region had traveled to Jerusalem. The disciples had followed Jesus' directions and stayed together in Jerusalem, waiting for the gift of the Holy Spirit. The twelve disciples were together in one room. Suddenly, they heard a sound like rushing wind. They saw something like a flame of fire on each of their heads. These men were filled with the Holy Spirit and were able to speak in other languages, languages they never spoke before. When the travelers to Jerusalem heard them speaking, they were amazed and confused because everyone heard them speaking about the wonderful works of God in their own language. Then Peter told these people that God had raised Jesus to life. Jesus was the long-awaited Messiah or Savior. The people asked, what shall we do? Peter told them to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and they would also receive the Holy Spirit with the gift of faith. The people believed what Peter said. That day, before 3,000 people were sorry for their sins and repented, that very day, they were baptized. What was the miracle of God in this story? Please pause this video now and talk about your ideas with someone at home. Some of you may have noticed more than one miracle. The wind rushing through the house, the fire on the people's heads, but not burning them, and finally, people being able to speak about God's wonderful works in languages they never spoke before. How wonderful is it that we worship a triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When Jesus needed to return to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to give us faith, to guide us through our lives. Please join us next week when we will learn more about a man named Saul and how a miracle of God changed him from an unbelieving, angry man to a man who believed in Jesus and loved and cared for others.